save any for us. If you're a fan of DC animated movies, you'll be happy to know that Legion of Superheroes is already available to watch. DC has decided to expand the Tomorrowverse franchise even further because they know how much their fans like films based on DC comics. In this video, we will go over the voices behind the Legion of Superheroes. Make sure you stay till the end because an exciting journey awaits you. Unhinged? You tried to kill Superman! My cousin! Legion of Superheroes tells us the story of a girl named Kara who struggles to readjust to life on Earth because her home planet Krypton was destroyed. Kara was sent to Earth to protect her brother Kal Al, who was a kid at the time, but no matter how strong she is, the trauma still haunts her. Her brother, Superman, advises her to join the ranks of the Legion Academy, a collaboration with the new generation of superheroes who do their best to protect the world. Kara manages to meet new friends over there, all of whom have unusual usual powers, but also meets new foes such as Brainiac, of whom she has unpleasant memories. At the time, the Dark Circle, which is a shadowy organization, tries to steal a powerful weapon from the Academy's vault, and the newly formed Legion of Superheroes has to save the world from the deadly organization that is trying to use the weapon to destroy the world. The film has already premiered and is available to rent on Apple TV, Prime Video, Vudu, Google Play, and YouTube on February 7, 20. 2023. So now let's talk about the cast and crew. Okay, new question. Uh, how are we in the 31st century? Also, why? Legion of Superheroes will be definitely loved by fans because the film introduces new heroes that were never seen before in an animated or live-action universe. Of course, there is also the reoccurring characters that everyone loves. Jeff, who directed Justice Society World War II, now is responsible for directing Legion of Superheroes, and everyone expects that this film will be really amazing. Jeff is definitely a professional as he's already directed the animated television shows Green Lantern, Beware My Power, and Guardians of the Galaxy as well as working in the animation and art departments of well-known Marvel and DC animated projects such as Avengers Assemble, Ultimate Spider-Man, Batman The Long Halloween, and Batman Soul of the Dragon. We have another professional involved, Josie Campbell, who previously penned the popular animated series Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, She-Ra, The Princess of Power, and The New Looney Tunes. She's in charge of the script. Kevin and Sam also joined the team. So what about the voice cast? There are plenty of our favorite actors that voice the Legion of Superheroes characters, and we're going to talk about them in a second. But before we start, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Where are we? Earth in the 31st century. Supergirl Kara is a protagonist of the series and she was sent to Earth in order to protect her little brother from her home planet Krypton that was destroyed. She is also a cousin of Superman and he was actually the one who recommended Kara join the ranks of the Legion Academy. Together with the team she's fighting against the evil and trying to save the world from complete destruction. Supergirl then teams up with the former foe Brainiac to stop this new villain from erasing the League from existence. This character is voiced by Meg Donnelly. If you watch the live action and animated zombie movies, you'll 100% recognize her voice. This is her debut as a DC animated voice actress, and we gotta admit that she did a great job. Aside from playing the role of Addison in Zombies, Meg has also appeared in other television shows, including American Housewife and the supernatural prequel The Winchesters. Whoa, can you turn other things invisible too? Yes. We all know who Superman is. He is a hero and an extremely moral person, believing it immoral to kill anyone under any circumstances and will do whatever he can to avoid it. As you may guess, he plays a very important role in the series and is portrayed as a mentor to his young cousin Kara with whom he will do his best to save the world. Superman is voiced by Darren Chris. If you watch Superman, Man of the World and Justice Society World War II, you will recognize his voice because the actor reprises his role. Darren has voice acting experience and has already starred as the musical Meester in Supergirl and The Flash. For those of you who didn't know, Darren also provided voices for several animated projects, including Rick and Morty, Stanley's Mighty Seven, and Green Eggs and Ham. Did you know that? Let us know in the comment section down below. Kara, I know you're upset. You can't possibly know how I feel. Now let's talk about another character, 
The Flash. Matt Bomer will reprise his role as the voice of Barry Allen in The Flash as he did in Justice Society World War II. In one of his interviews, the actor revealed that the fact that he was invited to voice such an iconic character as The Flash made him join the project. He said, Well, I mean, obviously, you're dealing with really iconic characters. This is a character who I've known and loved as long as I can remember. He then added that after he read the script, there was no hesitation to join the cast. It starts with that, and then just having had such a great experience doing voiceover work with Warner Bros. and DC in the past, and then I read the script, and I thought the story was really engaging and unique and ultimately very moving. So, I thought the character had a great arc, and I thought that he had a great sense of humor and really unique rhythms. So all of this was things that I thought would make this unique from some of the other roles I'd voiced in the past. Maybe not so much the kryptonite, but in every other way, Krypton was incredible. Are you ready for great news? Jensen Ackles is back voicing Batman. Of course, we'll all miss Kevin Conroy, the most famous Batman actor who sadly passed away. But we assume that Jensen Ackles will do his best to represent Kevin Conroy's character as well as possible. He already did a wonderful job of sounding close to Kevin Conroy's level of excellence. Jensen isn't new to acting and voicing, and you definitely know that since he cemented himself in pop culture from Supernatural and The Boys. As for the Batman's role in Legion of Superheroes, we can judge by the trailer that Batman is concerned that Supergirl is not good at controlling her powers and we assume that there's going to be a potential shutdown between Superman and Batman. Do you think it's possible? If yes, leave your comments in the comment section down below. Taking care of a problem. I'm more worried about this. Grundy was using it in his rampage. Brainiac 5 is the biggest villain in the new DC Universe original animated movie, Legion of Superheroes. Brainiac 5 wanted to overcome his family's antagonistic legacy as only his keen 12-level intelligence can calculate. Despite being a clone, he is trying to overcompensate for it. Harry Shum Jr. said that he wanted his character to try to turn the fact that he is the biggest enemy of Superman into something useful and use that to defeat the inner demons he has. The actor also explained how he developed his performance as Brainiac 5 and hinted at what to expect from Legion of Superheroes. Speaking of the role Brainiac 5, he said that Brainiac is one of the scariest villains who's been trying to kill Superman. He revealed that his character is super complicated, he's an android, but one of the big things that humanizes Brainiac is his chemistry with Supergirl. He also opened up about his character's relationship with Kara. I think with Supergirl, there's this quality of innocence, that's why she gets sent to the academy in order to fight and defeat the enemy. That innocence has to turn into a very complex differentiation of what that goal is at hand. Sometimes that innocence can get in the way, but in this case, I think that Supergirl's innocence and empathy are key to saving the Legion and trusting Brainiac 5, especially when no one else did, and taking him out based out on a gut feeling for Supergirl. I think that that said a lot about people in general, especially with Brainiac 5 seeing that that was truly special for him. It allowed him to operate at a higher level than he ever had. Is there anything else you want to know about this cast? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. All that's left to do is wait for